Now let's say that the next thing that I want to do is I need to record what's going on on the screen. Now there's a couple of reasons why I would need to do this. Maybe I want to record the transition of the slides now that I've got um, the individual um, see if I can find that again. Now that I've got the individual element transitions in ProPresenter 6, maybe I want to record that to put onto a video later. Um, maybe the iMag feed, I want to edit that together, what have you. Well, I can now do that in ProPresenter 6 by going to File, Uh, it's actually Actions, Record Output, and I can choose where I want to record that to, the codec I want to use, and it's all ProRes, uh, the codecs. Most of the time you're probably going to do 422 LT or 422, but you've got HQ and Proxy as your choices as well. The size, and you can do screen size is what I'd recommend, and how many frames per second depends on what your other video is and you'd be good to go that way so that's another thing that you can do with ProPresenter 6